from here No one can save us Save us from keeping clean I don't wanna lose you I don't wanna lose you now Cause there is only one thing Only one thing on my mind Hey, hey, hey I just wanna see you on my new grave Hey, hey, hey I just wanna see you on my new grave Before you turn around and walk away Hey, hey, hey I just wanna see you on my new grave swimming and all that stuff but um we literally have no food we've got three little um spanish flags or whatever you call them because there's literally nothing like these reefs are very very dead and it's really surprising but it's really unfortunate and um we didn't really think that through because we just thought we'd be able to get anything because usually you can just jump in the water and find fish anywhere but um struggled really badly to find fish so we've got a little bit of food but you know i mean what beats that this is so beautiful here like having the best time ever and surfing was so much fun first time i've been in the water since such a long time just on the surfboard and uh really makes me miss home yeah all right we're just heading down to the beach click some wood for the fire and uh this is angus howdy hasn't been in any videos yet He's new, first time on the boat, but uh, good company. And uh, he got us no fish today, so didn't provide, and just, <laughs> <laughs> just eating. <laughs> yeah. Just Have a look at this, guys. Look at that. This whole beach is literally just full of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then there's rubbish. Everywhere. So much rubbish everywhere. We're gonna do a cleanup a bit later we haven't got a big bag unfortunately but we've got a cold bag i'm gonna fill it up with all the rubbish we can find and um yeah what have a look at that that's crazy as if we just found one of them Check and this uh, one out. <laughs> a light bulb <laughs> man there's so much rubbish here it's actually really disgusting um i reckon we could fill like 10 bags worth of um stuff just off this beach easily and literally no one even lives here like um looks like we've just found where some other people have been before you a pair of cross trainers <laughs> <laughs> there's a bunch of um is that rope swings or what is that Cicada up, up 
Shell of it. Yeah, have a look. Someone's set up camp here and left rubbish. Technically, it's no good. What the heck? What is that? Is that like a freezer from a boat? Like one of those esky things? Bro, how is that even here? Maybe it was like a live bait tank. It looks like it came from a boat. Alright. How awesome is that view? What I think we'll do is uh we'll chuck a bit a few lures out there once the tide comes in and uh if we're lucky. If you've seen that video when we went to the other um, island, I even got a trout at um, literally sunlight just in a little pond like this. And it was legal trout too. So we ate him for breakfast. And I mean, if we get one of them again, that'd be beauty. In Hiroshima, they got like oysters as big as your head. Fun facts with fun Angus. Fun facts with Angus. Come to Japan, it's fun. <laughs> How beautiful is this? Sun's just setting on the horizon. Man. I can't believe we haven't been here sooner because this is an amazing spot. And next time we come, we're gonna make sure we have fish before we actually camp up because camping up first and then going to get the fish just didn't work. Because, I don't know, everyone just sort of had a lack of motivation and this was so bad. So it made it really difficult. Surfing on the Great Barrier Reef. This has been one of the best trips we've had, even though the viz is really debatable. And we haven't got much food to eat tonight, but doing this, I haven't surfed all year, I haven't been home all year, been stuck here because Corona, and um, being able to do this, such a beautiful place. Is that not just beautiful? We're going for a last. Last right. cast of the night, and um, we're hoping we get something because dinner obviously is very appalling. Yeah, the boys have got it, got my rod, <laughs> and uh, we're hoping that we've got something. And um, yeah, but honestly, everyone's bummed about the fishing, but it's just beautiful, it is gorgeous. I reckon it's wild how it just goes straight to jungle in there. Yeah. Oh, that. First car of the night. Bold brown. Red throat. Off the shore. Don't hook me. Hook them dogs. Oh, you don't get snagged there. Are you actually oh, on? Oh, oh. No! <laughs> nah, nothing. 
All right, no luck for me. Angus is on. Couple casts. If you can't get anything, then we're going to bed. <laughs> nah, nah, we're not going to go to bed. We're going to have some fun. We're going to do some night fishing once high tide kicks, kicks in. We reckon these flats covered up. night of sleep and we made it through fire's just burning off now looks a lot more flat today than it was yesterday so hopefully it's better and uh and Tia's all right so we're just packing up our stuff and we're gonna do a beach cleanup because as you saw yesterday so much rubbish we've got we've only got two only got two little poles in a Woolworths bag but um, next time we'll bring bigger like one of those rubbish bins sort of bag things and uh, do a better cleanup but yeah there's so much stuff here we're literally gonna fill up the bin just in the meters. next 10 meters literally like these bags won't even last us 10-15 meters right now there's so much on here but yeah we'll uh, clean all the stuff up and we'll get back to you when we finish that up there's literally hundreds of these little bottle things they don't even have labels but they're just Absolutely everywhere. Have a look at this. My goodness. Alright, so literally, like, this is a square meter. One, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Look at how much stuff there is here in literally such a small amount of area. It's ridiculous. And the worst part about it is hardly anyone even comes here. So a lot of this stuff's not being left here. It's just washing up on the beach. And so all that's just coming from the ocean. And that just shows how much, that, like in reality, there are probably that many million pieces of rubbish just floating around like, and it's no good. Disappointing. Here, more. Look at these, hundreds of these little bottle things, crazy. There's a lot of rope, lots of rope. The biggest thing though has just been those little plastic bottle containers. You don't know what they are either because all of them are just white with no labeling and stuff. It's just sort of corroded, but um, oh, look, there's another one in the tree right there. As I'm saying it, um, more plastic. Second one, look at that. Another bit, it's a shell, that's a lid. I 
I reckon if we really wanted to clean this beach, it would take our entire boat, uh, like we could take a full boatload of stuff. Like we could come here with like 10 bags and fill all 10 of them and just pack the boat up. Maybe for a future video, we might actually do that because this is a beautiful spot and I've loved spending the night here. So we'd love to come back very often. Almost full, man. I thinking that was the dead body for something. Look at that rope. How much more have we got? Oh. Yucky! Alright, mission success. Two full bags, couldn't fit anything else. Found this big rope. Cleaning up the beach. We're just cleaning up that rest of the stuff right now. Make sure you don't leave stuff when you come to these islands. And if you can, just fill up your bags if you've got spare ones and if you've got the room then just do what you can and it makes a big difference. The boys are stoked. Vote one Pauline Hanson. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, time to do this in time. Jack, have a look at that. Not a big one, but ticked off a species. Beauty. All right, so I finished spearing. Got my first mangrove jack. Happy. And um, got a nice trout and that, I don't know what cod that's called, but some kind of cod. And um, at least we had some action compared to yesterday. Yesterday we went hungry, no one ate food. Um, uh, All right, we're sending it home right now. It's super rough in here. 